Okay, and let's get started by showing you guys this whole process. First things first, we're going to go ahead and grab some foundation. Once we're done with that, I'm going to go ahead and grab the loose powder. I did went ahead and do my eyebrows just because this video is so long, I don't want to make it longer than what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some eyeshadow primer and apply that all over my lid. I'm going ahead and grab some vanilla color and apply that all over my lid also. So I'm grabbing right now, uh, it's more like a brown color. I am using this one as a translucent color. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab more, it's like a light brown. Um, I did put some tape just because I want this process to go faster and to be more even and cleaner. So it's more easy for me. I don't have to get rid of all the residue and stuff like that. I am grabbing the black eyeliner to define our crease. So I'm actually doing from the outer corner into the inner corner. Using the vanilla color, I'm going to go ahead and use that as a highlight and use that as the lid also. Okay, now moving on with the eyeliner. I am grabbing the NYX eyeliner. No, actually it's NYC. What? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the NYC eyeliner and I'm going to go ahead and do it a little bit, little bit um, thicker. Once we're done with that process, I am actually using the um, black eyeshadow and I'm going to apply that all on the bottom lid. And you guys don't have, I am actually doing it more darker just because I want the eyeshadow to look really nice and sexier. I'm going more for the sexy side. So yeah. Okay, now don't forget to grab your eyeliner and after that, I'm going to go ahead and grab the white color and I'm going to put it on my tear duct. that we shouldn't forget is to contour our face so we're gonna go ahead and start doing that uh, once we're done I'm gonna go ahead and grab I don't know if I'm not mistaking that but I think it's rose or I'm just giving you a wrong name I'm gonna grab the cheek color it's more like a pinky color so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that and apply it on my cheek apple cheeks apple cheeks and then after that <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of all the residue of the white um, powder that I just put. I'm uh, moving on with the lipstick and this is a red color from MUD. Um, you guys could do darker or however you guys feel like it. I am grabbing the lipstick from Forever 21 and it's um, red. Okay so now grabbing the NYC pencil I am drawing the line and this is how you guys want your character to be. I am actually doing it all the way to the bottom. Okay, now using my compressor, I'm gonna go ahead and use the um, kind of like a gold color. I am applying it all over um, the half of the face. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and move on with the green color. And this is more like a um, kind of like a dark green. I am gonna go ahead and put another color, and it's black. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply that right on the ends of our right almost almost touching my um, hair so I'm going more for like a lightest a medium and then going to dark if you guys don't have a compressor um, obviously you guys could always do it with eyeshadows and grab the yellow one and just apply it as in just like if you were doing it as an airbrush but it's more gonna be an eyeshadow grabbing um, these um, textures I am actually grab got this one at Michaels um, it's really inexpensive so you guys could always purchase this you if you guys don't have it you guys could always find textures or papers that you guys have and do like a little texture on it and you guys could also do it um, like that also with the eye I did grab the jumbo pencil on black um, 
I know it's a bit, it's starting to look a little bit messy, but don't worry, you guys could always blend that up. I am gonna use a um, a black eyeshadow, and then just try to blend that up. But the one thing that you guys shouldn't forget, I try to grab a napkin. All the residue is gonna fall on your cheeks, and it's gonna turn into a big mess. So just uh, make sure to grab a napkin and try to hold it still and make sure that all the residue doesn't fall off on your cheeks because it will turn into a big mess. I am dragging the eyeshadow all the way to the corner where I touch my roots of my hair. Um, I want my eyeshadow to kind of span all the way to my um, roots. So that's how it's going to look. And then don't forget to add your eyeliner and your eyelashes. go ahead and grab third degree third degree what it is is two different products you combine them together and you create this um, this texture that you could do cuts or whatever um, things you want I am actually doing it really fast just because this product dries so you got to work with it really fast um, once I'm doing it when it turns really kecky I'm gonna go ahead and cut it on the center and then open it uh, however you guys want your one to be i'm actually gonna go ahead and get rid of all the hard edges i don't want any hard edges to go on my cuts after that i'm done i'm gonna go ahead and open it as you guys are seeing here and if you guys have seen um like kind of like uh, makeup tutorials and stuff like that that they use these kind of products Make sure to use, they all, they're they always using this wax. They kind of works the same thing. It's just that I had this on my kit, on my effects kit. So this is what I have and that's what I'm working with. Okay, moving on with that. I'm going to go ahead and um, use that red eyeshadow and apply it right next to the cut. I also grabbed yellow too and it's from MAC. I put all the descriptions down below if you guys are still wondering. After that, I'm going to go ahead and grab an alcohol palette. And if you guys don't have the alcohol palette, I can always give you suggestions by using red, blue, and black. Okay, so now using the thick blood from Ben Knight, I'm gonna go ahead and use it and apply it on the cuts, in the inside of the cuts. And after that, I'm gonna go ahead and move on with the regular um, blood that it's a liquid one. I'm gonna go ahead and use two types of bloods. It's the um, thick blood and the liquid one. Right now, I'm just grabbing the liquid blood, try to make sure um, to get the blood in there. Make sure it doesn't go in your eyeballs because it's gonna burn the hell out of you. And I recommend to not overdo it with the blood. Try to make it as simple as possible so, so it won't look too fake. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and comment down below. And I will put all the descriptions down in that box. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again. Um, I'm just giving you guys a head up just to see um, what kind of looks or ideas you guys want. For the hair, you guys could always curl it or just have it as simple or strain it, whatever you guys feel like doing with your hair. But yeah, um, yeah, talk to you guys later, bye.